Hello, I'm Kerry Lou and welcome to Silver Style Studio. Today I thought I'd have some fun and do a fantasy sexy eye makeup look that would look great with a mask. Now this is mostly for fun, so I won't be giving a lot of detailed instruction, although I'm sure you'll pick up some pretty good tips along the way. You may not want to do your eyes quite as dramatic as I'm going to do mine, but even if you take away a couple of tricks, I'm sure it'll make your mask wearing a lot more fun. Another way to elevate your mask look is by wearing sustainably made jewelry by Ana Luisa Jewelry. They were kind enough to sponsor and to help me make this video for you. They also gifted me this lovely jewelry that I'm wearing now. Gifting yourself or someone else Ana Luisa jewelry is a wonderful way to update your look without breaking the bank. As well as making a fashion statement, buying jewelry from a sustainable source says you care about the planet. They use recycled gold, silver and gemstones. I didn't realize how harmful mining for gold can be. People use dynamite deep inside the earth and that damage is huge and it doesn't stop there. After the gold ore is extracted, it needs to be separated from the rock, the metals and other materials. For that to happen, some people use a solvent, which is usually cyanide, unfortunately. The cyanide can end up in the water and the earth. I didn't know any of that. So it's really nice to partner with a company that cares for the environment and that makes us more aware of these harmful practices. You can find a link to Ana Luisa Jewelry in the video description below. I'll be telling you more about my jewelry choices later. And at the end of this video, I'm going to post some photos from a photo shoot Joe and I did, and it's all inspired by this makeup and jewelry. So let's get started. I already have on a little foundation around my nose and lower face area, but if you're prone to breakouts or if you have oily skin, it's best not to wear makeup underneath your mask area. By the way, you can find links to the products I'm using in the video description below. I'm going to start with an eyelid primer. I don't have any concealer under my eyes yet because, well, this can get messy. This is an eyeshadow palette by Kevin O'Quan Cosmetics. I picked this up because, well, Honestly, it looks so pretty, but I rarely wear it. I usually wear more neutral colors, but today I want to shake things up a bit. As older women, we're always told, wear neutrals, wear softer colors, but I think it's fun to wear something unusual once in a while. I'm going to start with this soft mauveish color here. It's called Wisteria. I'm applying it to my crease area first. I'm going to use my trusty old windshield wiper action here. See that? Just like that. Makes it fade nicely. Just make sure you don't drag the shadow downwards though because that's going to drag your eye down if you do that. So just keep it nice and high into the brow. I'm keeping this area here pale though because that's where my highlight is going to go. Next I'm going to use this color Onyx. Yes, it's dark, isn't it? We'll start at the outer part of the lash line and then curve it to meet the other color in the crease. Let me show you how. Okay, so I'll just load up my brush and whoa, this is dark. We're going for full on drama today. <laughs> so it's at my lower lashes and then I kind of hook it around and bring it into the color I just ap applied previously. That wisteria color. Sometimes it's helpful if you look straight on to the mirror. So let's say that you're my mirror. Um, it's a little hard for me to do both though. So you can see exactly where you're putting it because sometimes if you apply eyeshadow and your eye is kind of closed, you don't know how it's going to look when your eye is open. So it's a good idea to stare right ahead at the mirror and just see where everything ends up being. Like that, you see? Okay, so let's feather that out. You don't have to do it exactly like me. You can make it your own. 
Uh oh, when I start sounding like that, my husband Joe says I sound just like Bob Ross, the artist. Does anybody know who Bob Ross is? I hope so. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I used to love watching Bob Ross painting. And now that my hair is getting bigger, maybe I'm starting to look like him too. Oh my goodness. I used to love him. Did you know that that hair that he had was actually a perm? I didn't know that for years, but he had a perm and then he was kind of stuck with that image so he couldn't change it. Little, little information for you there. If you find that your eyeshadow is streaking a little bit or maybe it's looking a bit too dark for you, just take a fluffy brush with some white powder. Actually, it's colorless powder. I shouldn't say it looks white, but it's colorless, so it won't interfere with the colors of your eyeshadow. And just kind of fluff it around the perimeter of what you just did, and it, it's going to soften the look. Now, I can't wait to show you this liquid eyeshadow that comes with the Kevin O'Quan palette. I'll show you on my hand first because that way you'll be able to see the color much better. It's so beautiful. Isn't that nice? At times like this, I wish I had those beautiful big lids like Cher. I always wanted lovely lids like Cher. Unfortunately, mine look more like Sunny's. <laughs> kind of droopy and tired. Oh well. If wishes were fishes, we'd all be casting nets. Isn't that right? Now, this shimmery bluish purpley color here goes right on top. And look at this magic that happens. So even though I have hooded lids, I do have a little bit of lid showing, at least for a little while longer. So I'm going to put it here. So let me show you how to do that. Just a small amount, because it's such a small area. And I'm going to blend it with my brush. I find it gets a little too messy if I try to put it on with the applicator only. And I'm really isolating it into that area because I don't want any shimmer on my hooded areas. Okay. I'm going to add that pretty powder shadow right on top of it. And that's going to keep it there, stop it from traveling. So just under the arch of the brow, right here, I'm going to apply this light color called Frost. And it's a, a small area. If you do it too much, your eye is going to look kind of droopy and hooded. So I'm using a small brush for a small area. Just a little spark. That's all it needs. So here's an example of how you can create a harmonious look between your jewelry and your makeup. These earrings from Ana Luisa Jewelry inspired me to add a little blue to my eye makeup. I know that many people see blue as something you should never do over a certain age, but I do feel that you can use a little flash of color with your neutrals. The blue in this stone is called Lapis Lazul, and this is a freshwater pearl. I like tying in my makeup to things I'm wearing, whether it's clothes or jewelry. This pencil is from NYX and the color is deep blue. I'm just going to use it here in the inner corner of my eye and that's where it's going to show up the most. Since my ring has a decidedly edgy vibe to it, we'll make the eyes even more extreme. Let me show you the ring. Isn't this unusual? I don't have anything like this. It also goes perfectly with the paper clip necklace. Ana Luisa has lots of other necklaces too that you can wear all together, which is a fashion statement that I really love. I can't wait till the holidays because I know some people on my Christmas list that will receive something nice like this from Ana Luisa Jewelry. They're not expensive at all. Prices start at about $39. Okay, back to makeup. I'm going to work in a little black eyeliner pencil close to and in between my lashes. And then I'm going to take this little smudger that comes 
with the pencil. It's at the end of the pencil. It's quite handy. And just blend it out so that it actually kind of meets the eyeshadow. Now to curl my lashes. If you've seen my videos in the past, you know that I don't like to curl them just in one place because that makes an L shape from the side. I like to curl it here, then draw it out a little bit and curl it again. That way you get a nice C shape. Okay, now I look awake. <laughs> So this is Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara and I love it. So since this is a fantasy eye makeup look, why not go bold with the mascara? This is definitely thicker than I usually wear, but it's perfect for this look. Look at that, talk about drama. As you can probably see, my eyes are a little bit messy underneath now, but not to worry, we're going to clean them up, moisturizing and shaping all in one go. I'm going to take a generous amount of under eye cream on a cotton swab, and I'm going to apply it under my eye area, and I'm going to let it sit for a moment. And that's going to moisturize the area and when I wipe it away, it's going to be nice and clean. Okay, now I'm going to remove it with a clean cotton swab or two. So I'm shaping, cleaning, moisturizing, all in one go. So let's apply some under eye concealer. I'm going to be using this Bobbi Brown formula. It's her creamy concealer in sand. I like to use a combination of brush and fingers to apply it. First of all, I'm starting with the brush to get into those areas where my fingers can't reach. And I always start at the area that needs the most coverage, which is here. And then we're going to kind of feather it out here. And again, that helps shape your eyeshadow. Just pat it with your ring finger to make it blend better. Sometimes I get a little dark in the corner there, so I just go over that area with my concealer. Do you see the difference already? I might have to add a little bit more even. Get the other eye. It's kind of like a tapping motion with the brush, so you don't want to drag around that delicate under eye area. This concealer also comes with a little translucent powder. It's a very nice shade. It's almost like a very, very pale yellow. And it doesn't dry the under eye area. It's just enough to set the concealer and hold it into place. It's not going to travel into wrinkles. Okay, that's much better. So let's do eyebrows. I'm using an Anastasia pencil in taupe. I do have a video on how to do your eyebrows, so please check that out if you're looking for a more detailed tutorial on brows. I'm using Grande Cosmetics Brow Fill to hold my brows in place. The one I'm using here is clear, but it does come in different colors. I find this is a much more firm hold than just using regular clear mascara. I'm just going to use a little bit of contour around my temples. This helps give me an upswept look around my eyes. It's almost, well, it's kind of touching the eyeshadow, going right through my brow, and giving that nice upswept look, contouring my forehead a little bit. I'm just going to give you some options for eyeliner underneath your eyes. So some people like to leave this bare, and that is a nice look or you can just use a smidgen of eyeshadow. You can actually dampen your brush and use that with eyeshadow. That keeps it a little bit more under control. I'm not doing that right now. So I'm just adding a little smidgen. You can hardly see it. I think it does make a bit of a difference. So this is using the eyeshadow underneath the eyes as an under eyeliner. Or, if you really want to go extreme, 
we can use black pencil on the inside right here. This will give a sexy smoky look. I'm just softening that liner with my brush and I'm bringing it into any gaps that I have in my lash. Okay, I'm going to pop on some fake lashes off camera and I'll be right back. Stay there. Woo, and I'm back. Okay, I did cheat. I didn't just add the lashes, I added a little base, a little blush, and I couldn't resist doing some fresh lipstick. And some big hair, as you may have noticed. <laughs> okay, so now let's pop the mask on. And because that's what this look was supposed to be all about before I got carried away. Okay, so um, this is my sexy lacy mask to go with these uh, dramatic eyes. What do you think? We don't know how much longer we're going to be social distancing and wearing masks. But please be patient, my friends, and look after yourselves and your community. Stay tuned for my photo shoot after this. Until next time, bye.